All right, you are here to learn how to automate and make your trades more efficient in Interactive Brokers, having a stop loss, target, and entry all set up so you can optimize your trading. I'm gonna show you that in this really quick, easy, simple, and efficiently effective video. Thank you for being here, and make sure to hit smash and love on that subscribe button. It's red, but if you're colorblind, it still says subscribe, and it's down there somewhere. Anyway, you rock, I'll see you in the class. Beautiful. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in so I can show you a really easy tool on the Interactive Brokers platform. Here is Interactive Brokers. This is one of my accounts. And what we're going to do is we're going to hop over uh, to two different types of trades. But most specifically, I'll just show you swing trades because this approach works with any type of trade. It can be an option trade. It can be a day trade. It can be a swing trade. It can really be anything as long as you know the prices at which you're trying to get into. So let's just hypothetically say we want to play some Tesla. And Tesla stock right now is, let's say, uh, well, it's about 406. And if I come over here to a daily chart on Tesla, and I want to look at the daily candles, I want to buy Tesla shares at 350. So I click on buy, and let's say I want to do, I don't know, 40 shares at 350. So I'll type in 350, perfect. Now, first, I want to go to day, and I want to click on good till cancel. If this is an order that you do want live in your account for a very long time and you want it to fill over earnings or some type of interesting report, you can click on good to cancel and then click on fill outside RTH, regular trading hours. I do that a lot on orders that I want to get filled in no matter what. So usually a longer term position, I want to add to it over time. That's what I'll select. And uh, you know, why not? Then you click on advanced right here. Click on advanced poof and you go down to bracket once you click on bracket you have your stop loss and then you have your limit now your stop loss i would simply select whatever stop loss you're comfortable with obviously you want to have determined this based on the actual chart itself keeping in mind if you do want to leg into this as a long long term trade and you want to invest in the company and you don't necessarily want to have a stop loss attached to it, you do not have to do this trade. You can just buy shares by itself, right? Without having any uh, profit bracket at all. So you can take the bracket off and this becomes a regular old order. So you click submit and poof, it's in here, right? So I'm willing to buy 350 shares on Tesla at uh, 40, 40 shares at 350. So if I just want to cancel it, I just cancel it. And there's my boy Jarvis telling me that the prices are canceled. So again, now, if I want to have that bracket, I go into again, good till cancel. If I want to fill outside regular trading hours, limit price of 350, and I go down to advanced, attach stop loss profit taker. And if I know that I want to have a stop out at 340, so 340 is as much pain as I want to be in, but I also want to sell it at 400. That gives me a $10 per share loss and a potential $50 per share profit. And then I click submit. Uh, I can read it through here on this particular trade and go, awesome. This is how much I'm willing to lose, make, win, all that kind of good stuff. And you'll actually see it there on the chart. Here's your entry, the green line. The stop loss is the red line. And then the target is the other red line. You can drag and drop these orders. You can also modify these orders. You can modify the shares. You can modify the prices at any time. Um, you can do that. You can do so by dragging this particular price right? Click on it, dragging it, it automatically updates. If you want, again, you can see where it says profit taker, really making that very, very streamlined for you. Uh, or if again, you want to uh, update the price manually in here, you can update the price manually and leave it alone just like that. But realistically, that's it. That's how you can automate both day trades. You can do option trades for that exact same protocol. You can do day trades, swing trades, any type of trades allows you to set up an entry, stop and the target and truly walk away from the broker and just let it do its work. Once you understand brokers, you can really effectively use stop limits, limit buys, stop markets, limit sells. You can really create a nice slew of orders that you can set up and just let the market, let the brokers and let the charts speak for themselves, do all the work for you. And you go in and just relax and hang out and do your thing. It's really it. That's how I use Interactive Brokers. There's so many more advanced features in this particular platform and brokerage, but I want to give you the overview on how simplistically you can set everything up. Anyway, thanks for your time. Smash that subscribe button. Click on that bell. Do all the social media, YouTube stuff. But thank you for being here. You rock. Until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye.